Welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number one, three persons have been confirmed dead in the helicopter crash that occurred in Portacot, the River State capital, on Thursday. The accident occurred at 11.22 a.m. along the waterways in Portacot when the helicopter, a Seacoast Sky SK-76, with registration 5NBQG and operated by East Wind Aviation, took off from Portacot's military base to the FPSO Neom's Antan Oil Rig. A spokesperson for the Ministry of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Odutayo Olushei, confirmed that eight people were on board. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited engaged the ill-fated helicopter. NNPCL spokesman Olufemi Sunei confirmed this in a statement. At number two, the Academic Staff Union of Universities Gombe State University chapter has suspended its six-week strike over a litany of unmet demands, including an improved welfare package. The lecturers suspended their strike, which commenced on September 11, 2024, after a meeting held on October 24, 2024. In a notice on Thursday, the varsity chapter of ASU said the industrial action was put on hold based on the agreement with the state government. The notice was co-signed by Suleiman Jaru, the state ASU chairperson, and Mustafa Muhammad, the union's state secretary. At number three, as part of the cost-cutting measures of his administration, President Bola Tinubu has restricted ministers and heads of departments and agencies to a maximum of three vehicles in their official convoys. Tinubu also ordered all ministers, ministers of state and heads of agencies to have at most five security personnel attached to them. The president instructed the National Security Advisor, Nobu Ribadu, to engage with the military paramilitary and security agencies to determine a suitable reduction in their vehicle and security personnel deployment. At number four, Philippine rescue workers battled flood waters Friday to reach residents still trapped on the roof of their homes as tropical storm Trami moved out to sea after killing at least 40 people. Tens of thousands remained displaced after fleeing floods driven by a torrential downpour that dumped two months worth of rainfall in just two days in some areas. Accessibility remained a major issue for rescuers Friday, particularly in Bicol, President Ferdinand Marcus said in a press briefing. At number five, Super Eagles forward Ademola Lukman has been nominated for the 2024 Confederation of African Football Men's Player of the Year Award. Lukman will slug it off with Akraft Hakimi of Morocco, Simon Adingra of Côte d'Ivoire, and Sehau Gurasi of Guinea for the most converted individual prize for male footballers on the continent. Luke Mann's nomination followed his performance at the 2023 African Cup of Nations, where he scored three goals as Nigeria reached the final of the tournament and his record-breaking display in the final of the 2024 UEFA Europa League. The CAF Awards ceremony will take place in Marrakesh, Morocco on December 16th. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.